How's everybody doing? Oh. had it figured out without the um, squealing. That's horrible. <laughs> Sorry about that. You can't tell until you go live if it's going to work or not. And it did not work. <laughs> so we'll try again another day. But uh, for now, welcome everybody. Happy Tuesday. Uh, there's a lot going on and I have a really fun project today. And I have three boxes to open, so let me go to the comments and see if you're ready to kill me for all that noise. You feel like you're out of space. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was bad. I should tell you, turn off your volume <laughs> for the first minute. Uh, I'm always trying out these different things, and when I do them in the back room here, they seem okay. But then uh, when it goes live, everything goes out the window and we've got a problem. So uh, I'll figure it out when we get to where we have to put the camera down. So good to see you all. Hey, Maria, Donna, Charlotta, Leslie, Angie, Colleen. The noise just woke your dog up. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I should. I thought about just deleting it and starting over, but maybe I can can edit that first um, couple minutes out there because I know it's bad. Um, the thing about switching over, and I was going to ask you guys, um, I've noticed that although I love that we can do both of these, uh, Facebook and YouTube, um, my Facebook views are going down a lot. I thought maybe it was, uh, you know, just switching over. I didn't know. Hey, Judy, Karen, Leslie, I already said hi to you. Glum, Barbara, <laughs> Johanna. Uh, so I think what I what I would ask you guys, if you don't mind, I mean, if you communicate with other crafty people, if you could share these videos just so that um, they can get out there like they used to, um, I think what might happen be happening is that Facebook, because it's a second, a third party app, this platform that I'm using that I can stream to both, um, they don't, it's not like native to them and they are not showing it to as many people. So anyway, oh, thanks, Mitziana. Hi, Sue from Australia. Hey, Lisa and Elizabeth. Um, yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> Whoever was on the show last week will tell you it is not easy. <laughs> the subtitles. Okay, I'll have to add them in. They're pretty accurate. I, I had a few that were not the best, but uh, that happens everywhere in my texting. I really need to check all of my texts now because I've had some that were really not good to my mom. So uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, it just sounded like I was beaming. <laughs> I kind of am. Hi, Diana from Winnipeg. I have a very good friend in Winnipeg. She's at Victoria Lake. And uh, she used to live here, and we would have we would see each other a couple times a week. And uh, I miss her. her. Her name is Lorene Mason. You should look her up. She's very crafty. Anyway, um, I want to show you what we're going to make today. It's not done, but the general idea is uh, I need to make a card folder for my mom because she woke me up today. She's doing really well. I mean, her husband died couple weeks ago so she's doing really well but she is getting anxious about things like um she wanted to respond to all her cards she got for the funeral and she keeps losing the cards so I thought okay I am going to make her folder we're going to put it in a special place she will always know where her cards are she woke me up this morning I was up till four o'clock in the morning she woke me up at eight o'clock and said, I can't find my stamps. It's like, okay, we're, we're going to fix this. 
<laughs> I said, Mom, stop. You know I don't get up early. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a container, a folder for these cards. Now, if anybody has not seen these at Dollar Tree, I showed them another time before. They're beautiful. Hey, Jenny, we're going to open your box. Hi, Taylor. Um, so we are going to make a little folder for mom so she can have these and her stamps ready to go whenever she wants. Okay, and I'll show you how it's going to work. This is the journal die. All right, and we're just going to use, because I have my file folder out. Remember the other day we made this little, I still haven't finished it yet, but I'm going to see her on uh, Sunday. Well, I'm going to see her on Thursday. I'm going up. But anyway, it matches the little folder that I have her cards in. So I, or her, you know, photo thing. So I have more of these photo um file folders. So I'm going to make her a simple little A2 or A whatever these are, A7 cards because these are pretty tall. So I made kind of a dome top you can see here. So it's very simple. We're just going to um, put that together today and I'm going to decorate it. And now this is what I'm excited about. First of all, let me tell you, this month on the blog, we are doing I don't know how many of you guys used to watch Project Runway, but every once in a while they would have something called the Unconventional Challenge, and they would tell everybody, um, you know, go to the dollar store, go to the party store, and buy some stuff because you're going to have to make something out of it. And then they would get back to the, the workroom and they would say, okay, now make an evening gown. So they would have to use like crepe paper and just all kinds of fun stuff to make. Uh, dresses or clothing. So what we decided was, and it all came from Jenny Atkinson. I'll let her tell you, she's going to be a guest on here a week from Thursday. And I'll let you tell her how that whole thing got started. But anyway, we are going to do that on the blog. So all of the designers this month are going to be using unconventional materials. And those are things that you wouldn't normally think that you would use in a journal or to create something uh, crafty, you know. So what I am going to use today is wallpaper. And I thought this was so pretty. I bought it because I was thinking about making over here like a, an inspiration wall, and I still might do it. Um, I was going to cover this with foam, uh, cover foam board with this and um, make like a, a little thing. So anyway, I haven't done it yet, but I thought this would make a really pretty journal cover or um, little folder thing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cover my mat board with this and then you could like even wipe it down with some, some of the uh, surfaces, uh, Luster wax, wouldn't that be pretty? Just brush that over the top. So anyway, that's what my plan is for today. So what I want to say is you guys are all invited to join our unconventional challenge this month. So I hope that you'll do that. Look around your house, see what you have. Use gift wrap. Use, I mean, paper is paper, but you could use something recycled. You could use Anything that you want. I mean, the weirder, the better, really. And we're going to have some prizes at the end of the month. So post your pictures up in the uh, Eileen Hall fan club. If you're not a member, go ahead over and join. Remember to answer the questions or we're not going to let you in. We're, we're really picky. We only want really fun people that answer questions. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we are going to be doing that all month. And I just can't wait because that's one of my favorite things to do is create with things that are unexpected. So uh, let's see what you guys can do to add to the fun. Okay. And maybe win a prize. All right. Reload the page. All right. I'm not, no. Oh, what's happening? We are frozen. Hey, Anna, aren't you on vacation in Dewey Beach? I'm so jealous. Anna is like a couple miles down the road from our Bethany Beach House. Prizes, get joining in. That's right. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Blue answers only. <laughs> All right. I think I missed something, but maybe not. I have a giant roll like that from Goodwill. Okay, Laura. All right. So whatever you have, 
you know, and and if you want, you know, what would even be more fun is to like take a picture of all the supplies before you do it, do it before and after, and then we can all see. It doesn't have to be a journal. They're just kind of easy because they don't take that long to do, but you could do a box, you could do whatever you have and just post anything that you have and get us all inspired, okay? I have a list of, of things that I wanna work with each week. So I'm excited. I'm gonna be trying to go along with it um, this month in in my videos too. So we'll be going through a whole bunch of stuff, okay? All right, what is the die? Kim, I'm glad you asked. The, Kim, the die that I'm gonna use today is the biggest journal die. Uh, and it's called the journal. This was one of the first ones that I did. And uh, this has been a real good, good one because uh, it is the size of a traveler's notebook, which is kind of standard size. It's eight and three quarters by about four and a half. But if you don't bend over on the seams, you know, it goes, let's see, this is, and here is my corkback ruler, but it's not a little one. This is a little, it's about five and a quarter inches. So um, also I wanted to say, if say you don't want to, say you don't know if you want to buy the die, I do have a, a kit if you want to buy it in the Etsy store and you can make um, two journals out of this just for like a test, see if it's something you want to do or, you know, just a little project. Okay, I think she's totally focused on Facebook, not YouTube. I think I have, Becca, I think I have both, um, both, all the comments are going down the side. So tell me if you saw this. I have, think I have 10 people on YouTube and 75 on Facebook. So um, I probably, Becca, can you um, say hi so I know that you got that? <laughs> anyway, I I can't like get all the comments because I'm trying to talk and remember everything at one time and it's harder than it seems. Okay. So the other thing that we're going to use is this mat board. It's just handy. You can use anything that you have on hand chipboard. As long as it's heavyweight, it should be about a 16th of an inch. It will still work. Like we did the other day, the file folder, it works because it's nice and thick. It's just not going to get those deep score lines that you're going to get on the map board because that's what the dies are designed to cut. Okay. Um, is there anybody else from YouTube? I see, I see a little Facebook sign and then there, oh, there's Becca. Looks like 18 on your YouTube. Okay. Yeah, I only have 11. Okay. I don't know. Maybe there's a delay or something. Okay. Well, but see, I can see you. It's not that I'm not answering YouTube or Facebook. It's just, it's just anybody because I'm trying to concentrate. The other thing that I thought I might use is the, the one of these, um, because when we make our little folder, I mean, I can put Velcro here, but I'm going to need something to keep the sides, to keep the cards in. So I saw these, they're little baby um, headbands, but I thought just one of those wrapped around here might be cute. And it would uh, do the um, effect of having this closed in. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure how long these are, so they may not work, but it was a good try. And if not, I have a year old granddaughter who can use it, except she has a giant head. So it probably won't work. <laughs> anyway, all right. So let's open our things first, okay? Now, this is a box from Jenny Atkinson. Oh, there is lagging. Okay. So I don't know what's in here. Jenny and I have been kind of trading things back and forth. <laughs> I sent her some glassine bags. And I don't know what this is. Eco Bamboo Electronic Scale. I have a feeling it's not that, but you never know. <laughs> Let's see what Jenny has sent. That's a cool idea, though. Bamboo Scale? Mine is like a regular old... <laughs> I can't open the box. I design boxes. I can't open this thing. I can never do these. Oh, she taped it. All right. Thank you. Oh, no, she didn't. It just tucks in. It's stress. <laughs> I'm all recovered from my shot. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that I had it. Ooh. Oh, she sent me tags, books, and samples. 
made them to fit. The... Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, Jenny. Look at this teeny tiny little book. All right, let's see what she has in here. It's a little mini folder. Oh my Lord. Look at this. Wait, I have to see it first. Oh, look at, she's got little things that open. This would probably be better to do laying down, but oh, this is, look at this little tiny envelope. So cute and a little book. All right, we'll have to look at this when the camera's down. Maybe I should just do that. Oh, it's magnetic. It just boop, snapped right in there. It's beautiful. All right, you know what? I Oh, and some napkins. Oh, oh, that's pretty. Oh, I found some more napkins today, guys. I'm going to put together another... Can um, another package of napkins that's going to be birds, bees, and butterflies because I'm finding a lot of stuff. Oh, look at those. Oh, how pretty. Uh, oh, this is a cool one, too. So aren't napkins amazing? I love them. All right, let me, um, let me just turn the camera down because I think this is going to be a problem. It might take a minute because I had to get off and back on. Uh, all right, let me do... Where did I put my phone? Here it is. All right, let me see if I can um, do this while we're talking. That's less... All right, I'm entering a broadcast studio. All right, it might be a minute. Okay, hang on. Okay. okay. Nope. 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 All right, I don't know. Am I still going, guys? Somebody tell me. Okay. I'm not sure how to do this now. Oh, wait. Okay, how's that? Oh, so many things to mute. Thank you for not leaving. Sorry. It's like, I'm telling you, every time it's another, <sighs> why do I do this to myself? Good Lord. I'm glad I didn't turn off because I thought I just got rid of the whole thing, but I didn't. <sighs> okay, wait, let's go through this because this is the good stuff. All right, let's, let's look at these. All right. Two mics. Yes, I did have two mics, but I didn't, I, yeah. Can you guys, yeah, you can hear me. All right, breathe. Breathing. <laughs> I can still see the comments. That's good. Let me just, all right. I just have to remember to keep it here. All right, let's see. Oh, this is the little folder that Jenny did that she 
she might be going to show us that. You guys think it's not this exact one. Wait, maybe it is. Jenny, I can't remember. Look at this adorable little folio. Is that just not the best thing? I think that's all out of one piece of paper, too. Is that right, Jenny? Yes, I'm back, Laura. I'm just a spaz. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just not good at this. You can't be good at everything. Definitely not. <laughs> I would never go into this job. Anyway, I'll have to fold that up better. But that cute is this. I didn't open this one. Jenny knows I'm going to immediately copy these <laughs> or try. Oh, now this one that's made out of the 12 by 12 paper. Look at how cute that is. Isn't that neat? Yeah, these are just, wait, let me move this a little because I'm afraid I'm going to go out of whack here. Look at these. And she has just the perfect little things to put in them. Look at that butterfly. So adorable. Yeah, so you just have all these fun little flaps. And then you just fold it up. This one is pretty chubby. I like it. Wait, I did it wrong. You can do it however you want. Yeah, that's a little flatter. I love it, Jenny. Thank you. So we're we're checking our our shipping, how to ship stuff. I sent something to Jenny through a thing called Pirate Ship. I don't know if you guys do this. Lisa Hall told me about it, and it's really so easy internationally and so easy. And so I sent Jenny something and she said, I got this thing from a place called Pirate Ship. I mean, and I deleted it. I was like, no, that's a thing. <laughs> All right. Now this I opened right before. So I know who it's from, but I didn't know until like 10 minutes ago, just because it always takes me so long to open things. This. Elizabeth Robinson made this out of the journaling, the waterfall card. And the little thing, it looks like a TV. Is that and the dials? It's the most adorable thing. I love it. And look at her neat writing. Aww. Wait, I don't know if she wants you. The shoe fund, it will make me smile. Oh, look at all these goodies. Ooh, looks like the teacup did not. Okay, that's just a little bit of tape or hot glue. Look at that. Watercolored. Isn't that adorable? Tea time. That could go right there. Look at that. Little spoons. I love it. That die out again. I feel like I didn't really give it a good chance. Oh, this goes over here. So it's the same. Oh, look at that. So she did reverse. Isn't that this? You can paint like crazy. All right. Let's see what else is in here. Elizabeth, are you in the. Oh, there she is. Good. Yeah, I got these today. I, wait, let me move this so you guys can get the full effect. Oh, wow. Oh, I think this was the one for the blog hop. Oh, and this clip is genius. And then Susie did the same thing on hers because she liked it so much. Isn't Look at that. Look at that. And do you know how she made the piece that you would put inside here? to make this a pocket this is just oh, look at these glasses like a little spat box it's amazing oh wow this feels so sturdy too and a little book oh look at these elizabeth cute so you go out and you can do your little notes on your findings on your nature walk wouldn't it be fun to do this with the kids Take it to take it with you and just know something that you find along the way. I did that when I was little. I had a little notebook that my grandmother gave me, actually. I loved it. And look how she used the, the nice organic this mandala. Oh, I bet this is graphic 45. Is that Elizabeth? It is just beautiful. I can't see what she said. Yeah. All right, let's see what else. There's all kinds of stuff in here. 
I love days when I get boxes, guys. It was hard not to open it. Oh, wow. Look at that. See, you just can't see this from a picture. You just can't. It's like, it looks like enamel. Can you guys see that? I mean, it's shiny. It's beautiful. It looks like under the sea. Let's see what it is. Maybe it is a little under the sea. I know Elizabeth loves mermaids. Oh, look at that. So cute. With that gold and shimmer. Ah. I wonder what that is. that paper, Elizabeth? So pretty. Oh, and this little box that goes with it. I love that closure. And uh, somebody in the fan club did a similar one. Le Carte, s'il vous plaît. I don't know if you guys can have that. It's amazing. She's been posting some really fun little tiny books. I love seeing what you guys are making. All of your folios and... Oh, I'll be this one. Let's see. I love those colors together too. Yup. Look at this. Look at this. Seems cool until it's done. That's for sure. Oh, that was my weekend, guys. Oh, places to so you can hold your threads or whatever in here. This is for you. and scissors. Look at this. Little scissors would fit perfectly. And this is smart. It's like a quilted piece of fabric because it will through. Believe me, I have still poked myself. Oh, and these are the flowers from the, uh, the folio journal, the pages pack. Oh, so pretty. Oh, and then that, like it just a nice little tuck here. And see this, this piece here is what she did the shadow box out of. You know what I mean? So adorable. So useful, too. I love that. Oh, yeah, and that paper is beautiful. I haven't seen that before. Of course, mandala. Very, very pretty. Oh, Elizabeth. All right, what else is in here? Look at all these. Shoe fund, okay. This is what she said to look inside. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's a qu What? How cool are they? Oh, wow. It's like the money. That is so neat. You know, wouldn't that be... I love that. To decoupage that? Just like on... A, you'd like to do the front and the back and it would be all crinkly like money. And look at them all. Oh, this is really cool. Who thought of doing that? <laughs> I still have some of these from my trip. Yeah, these are really neat. And, you know, the other thing that I wanted to say was, look, when you get a package from the UK, and it's so neat. It wasn't on this one, but it was on Jenny's. I mean, there's a picture of the queen, you know? I mean, it just puts you in a happy mood right there. Queen. Can't go wrong. <laughs> well, thank you, Elizabeth. I'm going to use these. In fact, I may not even put them back in there because I don't want to forget. I love it. And look at that. Nice how that snaps. And she hand-painted this. Ugh. Like a little awning. Isn't that so cute? What else is there? Man. He's done a lot of projects here. Oh, this is the passport book. Look at that little fox. It's like so autumn. Oh, this is when we did our, our bamboo fabric. That's really pretty. It looks birchy, doesn't it? But you can can you guys see that kind of copper and silver? I can't make it do it in the light for you. But anyway, it's really pretty. Love Elizabeth's shoe fund. I remember when she made it. I do too. Yeah, this is... Oh, that came off. I'm going to have to glue that. Sometimes it does that. 
That's cute though. Look at the little tags and pockets. Love that paper. Oh, and there's from the flowers. Look at all these prizes. Ah, this is so cool. Oh, that's pretty paper. Oh, I love that. Is that Mente? What is that, Elizabeth? Oh, look at that. So pretty. And she stitched one in. So you, you can stitch it if you want. You can tie it in. But see, wait a minute. Let's see how the metal, where she just sewed. Yeah, the bamboo is cool. Cork, cork fabric. I'm sorry. That's what it was. But it looked like bamboo to me, too. I don't know what I said. <sighs> See, when I look at this stuff, I my mind I don't even know what I'm saying because I'm so excited <laughs> to see what everybody does. Elizabeth Minte, it is. I thought so. This is just look at that. Ugh. So pretty. And this is the notebook die. And that's a cute little tassel, too. Look at it! More! But wait, there's more! I don't know what this is. It's little. It's not... Oh, it is hard. I thought it didn't... It doesn't feel hard. Oh, that. Oh, cool. Like a little mixed media book. This is... Is that like gel press or what? How did you do that, Elizabeth? Is that like a stamp maybe? I can't tell. But inquiring minds want to know. You forget how to do the bamboo, Helen. It was um, it was bamboo or cork fabric that we were using, and we we kind of either ironed it on or we glued it on um, mat board or what. We did a whole bunch of stuff. Made a little. It was fun. We always like to try different different things. Oh, that's pretty. Yes. Oh, that's just classic, you know, the pretty flowers and pretty colors and nice layers. The mandala. Oh, very nice. Oh, you are so good, Elizabeth. All right. Oh, I know what this is. And I don't have a room to show you, but this is the project that Elizabeth did for our last release which is the chair cover so when i go back and start teaching again i put this on the back of my chair eileen hull design look at that little trailer oh this is so sturdy okay elizabeth i didn't understand that this was nice and thick because she, she was saying how it makes the chair more comfortable i know it looked like it was kind of fabric but i wasn't sure that like I didn't know there was batting. Look at reserve for Eileen. Oh my God, I love this. And all these little flying off and just cool, sketchy flowers. It's beautiful in my colors. Elizabeth, you are so good. And then you can tie to the chair it's adjustable. I love it, and I will bring it. I have to go out in the trailer and kind of get see what kind of condition Scotty is in. It may not be good I mean, he's been on his own for way too long <laughs> sitting outside and then i went the other day and i saw that the front is all chipped of the trailer the front i don't know why the rest of it is not all right i have to put these these are just amazing thank you so much for sending them now we can whenever we have what does that look like or what is that you know i have these samples to show and if hopefully we get back on the road you know i can carry them along in the trailer and go all right this one i did not open all the way this is from maggie who you guys saw the other day and she did that amazing tutorial which i need to watch again because i need to finish that thing for my mom and i wanted to Put some of those in there. All right, let's see what Maggie sent. Whoa. Really long here, guys, but we might have to do this in two parts. We can always come back. Wow. Holy cow. This. Beauty is as beauty does. Oh. 
This is amazing. Oh, she used the little pocket and bag. I love this one. It's just so cute. I think I still have these. This is the... Maybe I don't have this one. I have one of them. I don't have the other one. There was one that was a, like a little mark. I can never put them in there. So you could store little cards or envelopes in there. Oh, wait. She did like a little showed us and tuck something in there. Tuck something in there. It's so fun to look and see how pull things together. And then she made a book out of the oh, little pocket underneath. I like that idea. Using these. Life itself is the most wonderful fairy tale. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. Oh, maybe she has. Oh, that's cute idea to close it. Oh, photo mats. Three of them. Look how much you can fit in here. And just tuck them under. And keeps them closed. Oh, so cute. Sorry, Maggie. Oh, wow. Adorable. You could pull it in there. Really. And then another little pocket. That paper is really pretty. Is that graphic 45? It kind of looks like them. And there's fun arms, heart, and a bag, and a fan. Oh, and she, look at, she used those little pieces and made a charm holder. It's so horrible. It's really good noise. Isn't that pretty? All right, let's see. Here's something else. I think this is the book that she was showing us the other day in person. Oh, yes. I love that paper. I just think that is so pretty. Oh, look at that. She just such a way of putting stuff together. A little tag. And then she makes it like, yeah, there's a tag here and a fold out here and a pocket there. And like it just kind of happened. <laughs> it doesn't happen. It is graphic 45 elegance. Okay. These papers just make me so happy. All right, now here's the waterfall that she was showing us. Good, because that's what I need to do for moms. Yes, very cute. Oh, it's perfect. I knew it would be <laughs> from the queen. And I see why you said to stiffen that up, because that gives it... Uh, Boy, that's really a lot of stuff to put on a page, but it did fine. And then, he, was there a pocket in there, too? Yeah, look at that. Paper. Oh, look at that piece. It's so sweet. All right. Oh, and there she did one of just the little fold-outs. Another thing up there. Oh, that's neat. See, they're not that hard. We could do this, guys, don't you think? that a little thing? It could be. It's like, how many pockets do you want to make? <laughs> oh, let's just go. Oh, look at that. And this is, look at the, how big that is. And this is the pocket notebook, guys, so if you don't have it, it's a good one, I'll tell you. Just beautiful. So, so pretty. Let me put that away. I don't need an open blade sitting on my... Anyway, here's something else. I don't know what that... Oh, that's a trailer. Look at it. It's a little set. The set of pink. Oh. Look at that. She said she put her, her RV keys in that. Wouldn't that be cute? It's adorable. And she used, I think this was foil from, is that right, Maggie? Uh, I know, Taylor, isn't it? Just her little flowers. Look at that crocheted lace. You see that? <laughs> it's adorable. 
Sorry, I probably said adorable about a million times, but I don't know what else to tell you. That's that is one haul for the day. I'll tell you that. Now I'm feeling somewhat inferior at my own. But we're gonna we're gonna forge ahead and just we're gonna get the basics of the layout done. Thank you everybody for sending amazing boxes to me and let me letting me share them with everybody here because you guys are so talented. Oh man. Okay. All right. We have like 20 minutes. Okay. Again, here is the die. This is the journal die. I have it in my Etsy store. I think I have probably six of them. If anybody, if you don't have that, you might want it because it is, there's a lot you can do with it. And I just have a couple journals to show you what the regular journal looks like. Um, and I forgot to get out. Uh, we're going to be using my easy cut adhesive this stuff too. Um, a journal that I made from placemat from the dollar store. It was just doodled and then I colored it in with Copic markers. It was a really fun project. We did a video on it. And then I put, you know, there are little books you can buy at Target. They do eight books for $3 or something. And then I put envelopes in here. And these are the just the pieces from the book, but there was one that I did with envelopes. I don't know where it went. Anyway, maybe I didn't put it in, but you can. So that's a fun one. And just, you know, goes with Velcro. Here is one uh, from Tracy Evans. So you can see, you can do a, an amazing art journal out of this. I used old music paper some kind of like gas can and you know barb or screen this is real fencing you know this is like metal fencing. the way she arranges things on the page is just amazing and um i have assigned tracy evans i have a lot of them actually and then this is just nice sturdy paper and so if you want an art journal that is perfectly ready to go for an art journal and then Here's one from Debbie Bankston, um, one of our educators, who made this recipe book, and she used all a whole bunch of my older dyes in here, and made like a really cool recipe. Book. You know, use that's one, that's one. These are going back a ways, guys. So, I wish those were mine, but they're not. <laughs> um, that's my old mug. Look at these. I mean, and that's one. They're just so cute. These are little button jars. I think I have a couple. I need to put that up. And here is another belly band. Now she did like a slide kind of thing with hers. This was before I had that die, but you know, you can do a belly band out of anything. And you just bring it down. That's cool how that slides. And then more of the jars, recipes, and, and all this stuff. So anyway, you can see this is like a masterpiece. And she used cookbook pages for the background. Isn't that clever? I mean, just so, so pretty. So you can see there are a bunch of things that you can do with this die. So you're going to want it. Okay. What I'm going to do is we are going to cut out. Here are my... Um, file folders and I wanted to show you one more uh, that I got the other day I think it's also at uh, oh home goods 4.99 for nine of them which I think is pretty good because you get a lot of nice sturdy paper My girls love plants and in fact I got them stuff for I got these little kind of like Ray Dunn uh, plant things that say plant mom <laughs> so uh, this would be cute even to make a card out of it or do some kind of little book so um there's three different designs on there i just thought i would show you but this is what i used the other day and then there is another one and these these were from dollar tree i want to show you the difference because these are floppy but, but what i was thinking was 
that we could use these for the dividers inside of but you can tell these are way less way thinner plus they're glossy which is not my favorite but they'll be fine and i think the color when i see inside the book so i still have plenty of my file folders left and this, you could say this is kind of an unconventional material to be using in a journal so with that let me just show you the die this is what it looks like um it's all mine is all marked up and it has stuff all over it um i use this to off to make my card so you could just cut like if you take a fold a piece of paper in half put your score line right along here and cut that's going to give you a nice shape with curved damage for a slim line card just right there so there's there's one reason to get it right there then you've got like a little latch piece you've got a tab and a nice little um some people ask why i put this tape on here it just helps the paper material to release a little bit easier this shiny uh shipping tape and sometimes i cover contact and then what that does is it helps me see where all my lines are so I also wrote on here. Now, if you're going to cut two covers, you're going to need to, if you want to, you need a front and a back. So I wrote back. So if I have something with text, this is how I want to put it. When I go to do my front, I have my facing this way. So it, it you can use these dies as you need them. Um, if you need a reminder on how to, you know, be successful, it's not going to hurt anything and it will help you to remember how to do it right. So go for it. All right. Let me look in the chat. Because are those file folders? Yes. Yes, Helen, they are. Oh, thank you. Yes, Taylor, they are. They're very uh, versatile. Uh, UK are jealous for my file folders. Sorry. Sand the gloss back and add foil or wax. That's a good idea. That's the Traveler's ONG. Yes, I guess. The floral file folder. I know, I love that. Yeah, the name of it is just journal. So, uh, yeah, you want to get it. Okay, so what we're going to do, and I think I said this, but... It is a scoreboards die, and you're going to see when you buy the die, it says scoreboards. That means that it is designed to fit, to work with thick materials, mat board, chipboard, anything up to a sixteenth of an inch, because you can cut it out of paper, but it's not going to put those scores in there. It's just going to cut along the edge, okay? Now, I'm going to adhere my uh, wallpaper with my Easy Cut Adhesive, and I went ahead and put my paper on one. I didn't do the other one yet, so let's do that. And then we'll add our wallpaper. I'm a little nervous about it because it is, uh, it's got a pattern on it, and you want to get it straight. So that's sometimes a little tricky to line up. So let's hope that we get that right. But if not, you know, we can, we can fix it. You can fix anything. It's crafts, you know, it's not life or death here. <laughs> okay. So you know what I might do is just, well, it's just a little bit short. Well, I have plenty of it probably going to take like let's see there's one that I cut for my yeah that's pretty close all right let's cut two of these and just make sure we have enough I don't I don't want to be short all right so maybe what I'll do see I always try and line it up like that but I might just go right down the middle and wrap it around and I added enough glue I don't really need that much because I'm only going to cut a piece like that size so actually I shouldn't I'm going to I'm going to score that right there so I don't cut it because that's going to kind of lift up on my die and I don't want to do that so that should keep it when I peel off my adhesive it won't go up that far. So I'm just going to peel this off down here past where I just scored. 
I should listen to myself. All right, and then this way, I think I have a better chance of just kind of getting this down the middle. So I'm just going to lay this down and hope that that's pretty much straight. And then I'm going to tuck this around and it will just cut it when I go to cut the die. That may be a little off, but let's give it a, sh a shot. And I'm very happily using new cutting pads. I love that. <laughs> I feel so rich. All right, I'm going to angle mine a little bit because I can see it's slanting this way. So that means when I put it up here, this is going to be a little taller and I'm just going to kind of go like that. And I want to make sure I have everything covered. I don't know. Let's see. This could always be the back. <laughs> Doesn't matter front or back. Right, guys? The blade. <laughs> Drum roll. Yeah, let's see. I don't know about this. I think it's going to be pretty, but, you know, it's not that critical. I mean, although... I mean, it's for mom, but she, she, she lets me slide pretty well. I think she'll be happy to have, oh, not bad. All right, that's a little off, but that's all right. Front and back, we'll, we'll get it right this time. <laughs> and then I have these pretty scraps too. All right, so let's do that again. And I think that was a good idea to peel off or to not, and then I can still use that for something else. Can you guys see okay? What is the white surface I'm cutting? Uh, this is wallpaper, Angie. Is that what you mean? Not sure what the question, the white surface. Oh, Sizzix map board, okay. You guys know what that is, yeah. You've seen that before. All right, let's try and get this right. I'm going to start at this end. And let's make sure this is cut straight. That looks pretty straight. Ah, it's really strong tape, guys. So, um, See, I would like an all-over pattern better. Pretty sure of that. That one looks straight, though, don't you think? All right. Now, we're not going to worry about the front and back nature of it this time. We don't have to worry because we don't have a text. All right, let's see how this works. Now, if we can just get this put together, I think, you know, like five minutes, um, I can always do another one. We'll do the rest of it on Thursday. But I'd like to get a head start because Thursday I'm leaving and I'd like to finish it. So we'll just make sure we get it done on Thursday. All right, let's see. Now is the drum roll. This is the better one. Yeah, that's not bad. It's straight anyway. But I think I think some of that surface uh, luster wax, don't you think? Okay. All right, so we cut our two covers. Now, another thing that we have to do is cut a... Wait, I forgot. We need one for the, this. I was going to see if this fits sideways. Oh, it just makes it. Yeah. So let's cut off. Then we can get two. Out of it. All right. Because this is going to be our flap. So we need one more. And I'm going to face that down just because I kind of like how it's the edges get sealed. Whichever way, the, whatever is facing the blades, that gives it a nicer edge, 
I think. Uh oh. I'm going to put it up high enough. Oh, irritating. Uh. Yeah, I didn't cut it. <clears throat> Let me just do one more, guys. Sorry. Ooh, does that make it? It's really tight, but let's see. I know you guys do things like this too. Don't don't tell me you don't. <laughs> when you're in a rush, it's like, ah, just take the minute. See, plenty of room. Okay, this one's better. I even like the inside of this. All right, now we have this G-A, G-R-A. Oh, well, that's okay. This is going to be for the flap. I might even trim that off. Okay, so let me just show you the basic idea of how we're going to do this. Okay, we're going to take this, and this is going to be our bottom. So this is where these uh, are going to line up. Now, I wanted this pretty thick. You could adjust it if you just wanted three or two. You could trim off whatever you want and make this, you know, as thin as you want. But I wanted mine the max. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these over first. Actually, I don't need to. And I'm just going to glue these. And what I wound up doing was I took my three-quarter inch. It was just hard to do it all in one long shot. So I did a couple short ones. I got each end cut and lined up, and then I I cut another one. Where did my scissors go? And then I came down here and got these two together. And then I did the middle. Just easier logistically to do. And like that. And then I took another piece of mat board that I had left over. So this was cut from the other one. All right, guys, you're going to love this. Time for the blade. But uh, I'm going to measure how much I want this. Uh, let's see. I think it came out to one and three eighths, but... I'm just going to make a mark here, and that is going to fit in the bottom here and support this and make it straight. And I just liked how that felt because uh, shoot. And then I like to use my quilting ruler so it's nice and thick. You could also use a cutting pad, actually. I've done that many times. And you just want to have soft, you know, light cuts. Do as many as you need. Don't try and do it all in one shot. And then it just kind of comes away. There you go. Okay. Didn't cut myself. I did get a paper cut, though, <laughs> earlier. So irritating. I didn't want to bleed all over everything. All right. So then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put some tape two lines of it down on the outside of that and then it will be nicely stuck on all right anybody have questions I'm glad to know I do that too I probably make a mistake <laughs> yes I do constantly but but I'm somewhat triumphant when I can fix it so that's a good feeling. All right, so let's just peel these off. And then we're going to stick that down. Actually, you know what? I'm going to fold this first so I can see where I want to set it. So I'm going to lay this over my table. I'm just going to bend this down. You probably can't see it, but hang on. I just leaned these over my table and then I'm going to fold them all the way over. Okay. Now it does want to bend in the middle here. 
you know, like that. But don't worry about it because we're gonna we're gonna strengthen that right now. Ooh. Yeah, just put your hand right in it. Oh, you have to dig out your quilt ruler. <laughs> They're handy. Penny. I like the length of that. I do have one that has cork on the back, and I like that one because it doesn't move. You know, it doesn't shift. All right, and then you're just going to kind of eyeball this and lay that down and got a nice little strong center and this is just gonna sit you know so that's just gonna sit on the table I wish I had kind of lined that up over but oh well all right so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use this as a flap okay so we're just going to add some tape there. And the first thing I'm going to score, though, I want to score this so that it bends a little bit easier. Because if you'll see on here, this has to go and wrap around taller because it's not quite tall enough to fit these envelopes or cards and envelopes. And, you know, it depends on what you're making this for. If you were doing an A5 card folder, you could just trim it down to that size and you'd be fine it would be tall enough but um because that's four and a quarter or even four and a half for the envelopes and you'd have plenty of room here but because i'm doing these bigger ones and like i said these are cards from dollar tree they're 50 cents so i've been collecting these for mom and i'm going to bring them up to her and she will always have a card to put in the mail when she wants to and she will have stamps and she will not call me at 8 30 in the morning <laughs> wake me up that's my plan <laughs> okay so I'm gonna put now this is the part that has the holes in it so I'm gonna put them to this side and that's gonna go on the back because you're not gonna notice that and you could if you wanted you could add some brads in there and keep that even on there stronger which I might do because wallpaper I'm not sure how uh, how receptive that will be to tape because it's raised so I might do that so if I line that up with those over there then I don't have to worry about the holes so where is my own folder so I think what I did was every half inch I just went ahead and made some score lines in my folder top topper whatever you want to call that and let's see how long is this yep that's about right so then what you're gonna do is come all kinds of stuff everywhere i'm gonna fold these over starting you know i've got an inch and that's gonna go here like that and then the rest of it is gonna go over my top of the book of the it's, well it's not really a book it's a folder now but it could be a book it could be whatever you want it to be and i would love to see what you make out of it <laughs> okay so which one is our front that's our straighter one so this is the back so we're gonna stick this down here like that I'm going to try it with tape and see what happens. It'll probably be fine. Maybe I'll put a piece of elastic through. Yes, that I thought about that too. Yeah. I'm going to see if that little headband thing works. Well, we might get this done. Who knows? I mean, we're a little late here, guys, if that's all right. I'm going to keep going just a couple more minutes. A pocket on the front. Yes, that's what I was thinking, Karen, for the stamps. A clear pocket so she can see there are stamps in here. I found some pretty ones at the dollar store. They're flowers. I think that would be, I mean, not the dollar store, at the uh, post office. Okay, so he used to go into the dollar store. All right, and I'm just going to set that on here so I know that that's where I kind of level that over. Yeah, that's sticking pretty good. 
and there we go. So it can expand. Let's put some in here, just make sure this is going to work. Yeah, and then you could do Velcro. Wish that went down a little longer, but that's how it worked out. That's okay. It might be pretty to like um, do the sides, you know, like an envelope kind of like that. I might do that later. I don't know. See, this would be nice if that could, you know, put a little brad there. Ah! Oh, well. Design flaw. What can I say? All right. Let's see if those little headbands will work because that could be just a quick, easy thing, and you're done. I don't know. Let's try. Oh, that gold one might be pretty. Might be too skinny. I don't know, guys. That could work. Oh, look at that. That's adorable. Wow. You know, well, I probably will do Velcro, but... You know, even just to keep them in, I think that would work. Oh, I think that's cute. And you could adjust it over. <laughs> yep, I think this is a winner. But I will put some Velcro, too. But that, and you know what I think I'll do is cut a little divot or maybe even... I wonder if that would fit in a crocodile hole because then what I could do is punch a hole all right you know what I just heard this go that's coming off I'm gonna have to brad that in all right well you know it's we're doing our best here I think I might cover that too but what I was thinking was let's see if we have a is there a piece of I just want to try this. I'm using the big hole and just putting that right at the edge and then I'm going to cut a little slit. And if that works, I think this can just go right in there. I think you could work it in so that it caught. And then, you know what I mean? Like that. Isn't that cute? I'm doing that. That's easy and I think it looks pretty. And I'm just going to do it on the front because really you'd only need to do it in one place. You know what I mean? All right. We got a plan. Should I do it now, guys, or should we go? What do you think? Hey, Christy and Cindy, Leslie, Helen. Let's just do it. I mean... Okay, so we have to figure out where, but that's kind of nice because this is, you know, pretty straight. So I'm just going to put it, like, right here. I love this crocodile. Right here. I'm sorry, I should have done this sooner, but I was... At Target, I was all over the place today. I'm trying to get stuff done because I'm leaving on Thursday to go see mom. She had a great time at my daughter's with the chickens, but I don't know. This week she's been a little not so hot. I don't know if it was too much for her. And I don't blame her. Four kids, it's a lot. And my sister. We're a lot of family to handle. But I wanted to be there for Mother's Day. My daughter's getting in her photo studio. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. All right. So now where are we going to put our stamps? You know, I could put them up here in like, let me see what I have. These are the flowers that I found. You know, um... I could just put them in an envelope or on the back, maybe a little pocket on the back, you know, a little, um, fat or, um, what do you call it? Paper, you know, <laughs> scrapbook paper pocket. 
like Jenny showed us how to make and tuck that in, you know, or I have like cellophane bags that I could just put in there so she could refill and see that they're here, you know, but I mean, these actually match really nicely like that. I love that little bow. So I'm going to just put a little bit of Velcro. Oh, <laughs> I also cut. Oh, I forgot about my. All right. Wait a minute. I knew there was more. These are the pockets that I cut out of um, that kind of cheaper file folder. And I was thinking I would trim these down. And when I cut them, I also got this little pocket. So, oh, I could put the, oh, I could put the stamps in there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'll go like this. So that's a cute little, yeah. All right, I'm going to trim this down now because it's too tall. Oh. All right, it's coming together, guys, coming together. Thanks for sticking with me. All right, so let's do like four inches and let's cut this down to like maybe two inches. Yeah. Where'd that thing go? And then that can stick out and she can see it and we can put that inside the little thingy. All right, let's put some tape. Would use glue, but I think this is going to work better. Put that on the back of this. This is glossy, so I'm just not sure how that's going to stick to itself. This is probably overkill, but genius at work. <laughs> I don't think so, Helen, but thank you. <laughs> that did work out, those little I'm happy about the headband, because now I also have several more, which I can use the same technique, like in a book maybe would be cool, you know? Couldn't make it without the die pick. <laughs> oh man, we're really long, guys. Sorry about that. But we got to see all the goodies. All right. Okay, so, yeah. So I just want to place this. No! I was hoping I could get it straight on the ground here. There we go. Yeah, cute little pocket. And let me just round these corners. Ah, huh, we got a project here. Don't you worry about that. You enjoy this. You're cutting into happy hour. Sorry, Leslie. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Look at that. How cute. All right, let's 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 put it all together here. What I was thinking, oh, now, you know what? I'm going to have to trim it down a little because it's now, this this is uh, cutting into it, but that's all right. It still would stretch, though, probably. But see what I mean? Got this little, I could make that a little taller, and I can do that. I have another one like this. The other thing I did was I cut some of these out, and I thought, you know, you could do like categories like birthday, you know, sympathy, thinking of you, thank you, and and put these along the top so that you could kind of, you know, sort them into what you had for what and keep track birthday and all that. So I think that I will trim this down and, you know, make, make these as tall. Let's see. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to have them this, you know, not trim them, actually. And just keep them the right height, just maybe a little off the side here so they fit in a little better. 
and then you can put your dividers. So there you go. These were some other things that I thought about doing. Might be too much now. I kind of like just this little bow. I sort of wish I had done it a little taller or a little further up and then the bow would be right here, but that's okay. I think it's fine. It works well and I'll do just an easy closure here with Velcro or something else and then that's it. Maybe with like a little label. I don't know. Maybe a little something, but overall I'm really happy with this. So, ah, Crocodile, Christy Sparks. It's a corner chomper. Yeah, these things are great. We are memory keepers. And also this is the Crocodile. These are great tools to use with mat board because they will chop through like it never phases it. It just goes right through it. Not any problem ever. You probably could do even two layers of it. You can rewatch. Hi, Nancy. Thank you. Where do you find them? Oh, they're, they're in all the craft stores, Christy, pretty much. Or online. You could probably get them. Oh, I love how my stamps came out. I'm I am so happy about this. And I can give them to her. At least little things worked. Look at this. Five more little pretty things to put around something like this. All right. Well, guys, thanks so much for coming. Sorry about the screaming, horrible, beaming up noise in the beginning. We made it through another one. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you want to subscribe, I would love that because I don't have, um, I'm trying to get some more subscribers on YouTube. <sighs> that would be nice. Now it looks like we have 35 on YouTube and 76 on Facebook. So thanks everybody. How was the flap rounded? Was it scored? Um, well, it just was like that. Uh, no, I, I did the corner chomper. Yeah. Um, Nancy, did you get that? Uh, wait a minute. New comments. I'm not seeing all the comments. All right. Oh, Maz. Yes. Good night. Sorry this went so long. Were those the headbands from a store that... No, I just got these today, but Leslie, but I think those would work too. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. You pasted a link to Amazon. Okay. Thank you, Glum. Oh, thanks, Karen. I'm going to be back on Thursday. Thank you, Lisa, for subscribing. <laughs> and thank you, everybody who sent me stuff. I am so excited. I have to go back and look at it again. Um, we'll see you on Thursday at 4 o'clock. And we're going to do another unconventional challenge. And be watching in the blog because we have some really fun projects going in there. And uh, I hope you enjoyed making your little card folio for 5 by 7 cards. Okay? All right. Thanks, guys. See you on Thursday. Four o'clock. Okay. Bye.